The wait is over. We hope this is a morning you'll remember. Once again, downtown Scranton streets will host a most charming scene, an event filled with those familiar sounds and sights, where children delight as snowmen take flight. It's good to be back. A holiday tradition returns. Welcome to the Santa Parade. Good morning from downtown Scranton. Welcome to the Santa Parade and the official kickoff to the holiday season. In just a little while, we will welcome the big man in red and all the kids can put in their wish list and that's gonna kick off a month or so of festivities. Scott Schaefer along with Lisa Washington. Welcome to your first Santa Parade. Thank you so very much. So happy to be here. And this is just wonderful. The start of the holiday season. It's a bit chilly, I must say. <laughs> Still a good crowd out here around Courthouse Square in Scranton, and things are just getting underway. So uh, if you're uh, close by, stop on down. The parade's just starting. There's all kinds of activities uh, throughout the morning here in downtown Scranton. Santa will be meeting with, uh, with the kids, taking their, uh, their lists once the parade is over, once he's done with his... Uh, you know, his uh, obligations uh, for the parade. This is a busy time of year for him, but I'm <laughs> sure he's going to be able to see all of the lists from all of the very good boys and girls with us this morning. All right, there's, uh, 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 we weather. were talking about the weather that's going on, and uh, I know that uh, it's up on your screen. We don't have it in front of us right now, but uh, that <laughs> uh, you can imagine that it is uh, clear and uh, cold in downtown Scranton, but not. Not terrible, 27 degrees. And I see the sun, so that's a very good thing. We could be dealing with snow, and so thankfully we aren't. Very light winds, and that's the important <laughs> part. If it was windy <laughs> down here, it would be uh, it would be tough. But it really is uh, rel relatively comfortable. Here's the route of the parade, and we've been showing uh, showing it to you all week long on Newswatch 16. The parade starts uh, down at uh, Franklin Avenue and uh, Biden Street, and then it comes kind of up Biden Street uh, against the way traffic would normally go. I see, yes. yes. Uh, and then it turns uh, again onto Washington Avenue against the way traffic would normally flow, and then it comes around Courthouse Square and it finally gets to us. We are on the Adams Avenue side of the Lackawanna County Courthouse, and uh, that's towards the end of the parade route, but that's where you're going to see the best stuff. That's right, and lots of people here. Of course, we're excited to see all of them and all of the participants this year, so I know that this is going to be just a fun filled morning indeed indeed it is we are going to uh, we know the parade is already starting to make its march it hasn't reached us here on courthouse square but uh, the crowd is in great anticipation of uh, what is to come newswatch 16's chelsea strube is with us this morning she's on the parade route and if you come to downtown scranton you just might see her here <laughs> on courthouse square good morning chelsea Good morning, Scott and Lisa. Now, temperature is relative when you're having fun, right? <laughs> of course gonna, it is. <laughs> we're going to stay warm. We're going to have fun. I'm going to be out here with my photographer, Brian Hollingstead, out here on the streets, bringing you guys close-up look of everyone who's participating in the parade today. And like Scott said, if you have time to come out, we're going to be here till 1130 this morning. So if you're just getting that coffee, bundle up, put on a coat, and then come on down here and have some fun with us for the Santa Parade in downtown Scranton today. Now, as we usually do here, when we brought it back this year, we're going to bring it back the same way we always do, and we're going to kick it off with the dance of the wooden soldiers. These dancers have been posing this position for a while. I'm going to let them go.
Excellent. Those splits are not easy on the concrete. Great job, everybody. Woo! Excellent. Great job. All right, I'm here with the artistic director of the Ballet Theater of Scranton. This is Joanne Arduino, and this is a decades-long tradition for you. It is. Actually, we've been in every single parade since it began. So I think it began in 92. I'm, I'm not sure, but we've been in every per uh, performance um, kicking off the holiday season in this parade, and we're really happy that it's back this year. Right, and what we saw was modeled after something people folks at home might be familiar with. Right. It is modeled after the Radio City Rockettes. And um, we're really proud of these girls. They're all like 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. They work hard. And you're right, in these conditions, it's cold sometimes, and the concrete isn't the best, but they do a terrific job. I'm really proud of them. And there's people can see the rest of the show in person. Tell me details about the event that's coming up. Sure, we do the Nutcracker as a gift to the community. We've done it for 47 years, and it is at the theater at North. And it used to be at Christmas time, but we moved it to kick off the holiday season. So we are now Friday, Saturday, and Sunday after Thanksgiving at 2 and 7:30. Tickets are free to the public, and you can get them two hours before the performance you want to attend at the box office. Excellent. So while some people are out hunting, others can come out and enjoy a free ballet show. Correct. Absolutely. What's your favorite part about the ballet show? What's your favorite tradition? What's your favorite um, number? Um, I I don't think I have one. I've been in all so many of them, and uh, I've been in all of them. Um, I think the snow ballet is my most favorite, but I like the snow ballet inside, not outside. Excellent. <laughs> all right, well, let's hear it again for the dancers here. They did such a fantastic job. Thank you guys so much for coming out Thank here. You so much. Sure, I'm going to toss it back to Lisa and Scott. All right, Chelsea, thanks very much. Such remarkable talent that the Ballet Theater brings out every year uh, to the parade and to the Nutcracker itself. We're so honored to have them and have them be part of this uh, telecast every, every year. Also talented, the Scranton High School Choir, the Night Rhythms, who are uh, giving us a little bit of entertainment here in Courthouse Square as we wait for the Santa Parade to make its way to our location. Let's listen in.
The Night Rhythms from Scranton High School, always a great part of the Santa Parade tradition in downtown Scranton. The parade itself is right around the corner. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we will be here with uh, the First Division. Stay tuned here on WNEP. Bunley Law's presentation of the Santa Parade is sponsored by Birchwood Estates, Modern Luxury Apartments in Old Forge, Allen's Amish Shop, Shop Small, Shop America, Powell's Sales and Service, Great Gifts for Any Contractor, and Idle Hours Entertainment. Fun happens here. Winters can be brutal. That's why we test the intelligent traction management and all-wheel drive technology available on the Honda Pilot in the most severe driving conditions. Imagine how it could handle your winter. Get a great deal on the Honda Pilot with standard Honda Sensing from the 2022 Kelly Blue Book Best Value brand. This is my favorite part of the holidays. Oh, and this. Even when it's unexpected. Wait. Favorite. Sibling rivalry and all. You know, as long as we're together, it's all my favorite. Earn your free turkey with Giant Choice Rewards. See flyer for details. The beauty of fall has arrived here in Bear Creek Township on Newswatch 16's Alley Gallo. I'm proud to serve here and all of Luzerne County. The Northeastern Pennsylvania Philharmonic celebrates the holiday season of discovery with a PNC Pops concert presented with Dr. Seth and Carolyn Fisher. It's a family-friendly concert featuring the Choral Society of NEPA, Ballet Theater of Scranton, the Bloomsburg University Concert Choir, Parade of the Wooden Soldiers, and of course, a visit from you know who. <laughs> Get your tickets today. We'd like to thank these sponsors and WNEP, our media sponsor. You know who we are. Yes, but we haven't seen them in a long time. That's true, and we brought Santa with us. Yes, Santa and his friends are back. And the Santa Parade Committee is so happy that we could get this year's parade back on the calendar. We missed you, and we know that you missed Santa. So please enjoy his triumphant return to downtown Scranton. As always, we hope your holiday season is filled with joy. Merry Christmas! Thank you so much for joining us for the Santa Parade. This is the 28th year of the parade here in downtown Scranton. Lisa Washington along with Scott Schaefer and just a wonderful morning. Now you are seeing the Scranton Police Department as the parade kicked off about 13 minutes ago here. Of course, they are representing the city of Scranton and their various community programs. The Scranton Police are here today to make sure that everyone has a safe holiday and of course to welcome us all to this year's parade in the the city. Always good to see our guys in blue and ladies. Indeed, always a great uh, kickoff to the parade every year. The Division One is uh, underway as we speak. It's sponsored by Munley Law, the grand title sponsor of this year's parade. And of course, we want to say thanks too to the parade committee that you saw as we came out of the break. A lot of hard work went into putting this event together, and uh, this is uh, where we are. The Grand Marshals, and these are three uh, familiar faces. They wanted to do something a little unique this year. There hasn't been a new Grand Marshal since 2019. Someone big was needed to mark the parade's return. So they checked Santa's nice list. They couldn't find anyone, so they had an idea. 
a crazy idea indeed that they thought might work for this year's parade. Not one, not two, but three returning grand marshals. And we are seeing them now as they make they w their way down the parade. And they're joining group. us now. Frankie Warren from Magic, Rocky from KRZ, and Prospector from Rock 107. We got Frankie from Rock 107. Right How are you? Get, Happy, talk Thanksgiving. To us. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. Great Frank, to see you. Great to see you. What? You guys are doing a great job. What's it like to be back here as Grand Marshal again? Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. The crowd is wonderful. There's no wind, there's no rain, there's no snow. It's fantastic. <laughs> All right, we'll let you go. We know you're busy. Thanks, Frank, you are. Yeah. We love you. Thank you. Take care. Three Grand Marshals, three titans of local morning radio uh, here in uh, Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. Fantastic. Yes, indeed. The three amigos, the three wise men, I don't know. Just the three Grand Marshals, of course, very happy to see all of them. The behind them, we don't want to uh, miss the uh, honorary Grand Marshal, the Abington All-Stars. The Abington All-Stars led by coaches John Kwiatkowski, Tom Hillebrand, and Jerry Jordan. Overall record 19-3, and three, District 17 champions, Section 5 champions, Pennsylvania State Championship champions, Mid-Atlantic champions, and Eastern Regional runners-up. Wow. Wow, great season for Abington. So congratulations to those players and they're on the float uh, enjoying the parade this morning. And of course, Munley Law is the sponsor of this year's and you see the Rudolph balloon there, of course. And we know Munley again, thankful that they are the sponsor of this year's parade. And of course, the uh, marketplace at Steamtown, that's the mixed use facility in the heart of downtown Scranton, home to lifestyle, retail and entertainment all under one roof. Of course, a welcome to Steam Town. You're watching Division One of the Santa Parade here in downtown Scranton. Our Chelsea Struve is on Adams Avenue. Oh, okay. Hi, Chelsea. All right, what is your name? My name's Ariana Smith. Ariana Smith, where are you guys with? Uh, Alpha Sigma Psi from Marywood University. And how are you doing today? Are you cold? It's freezing. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell. You guys look great. What is it like to be out here and be back? Uh, it feels great. Um, I actually only, this is my senior year, so the first parade that I did was my freshman year, and then we haven't had them for the past two, so it really feels great to be back. Excellent. Way to end that year with a bang, right? Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys for being here. I'll let you continue on. You know Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cubit, Donner, Blitzer, but do you know the most famous reindeer of all? And that's Rudolph. And that's the float that is being pulled by those young ladies, part of the Munley Law group that's marching in the parade. That's right, and now we're looking at the West Scranton Invaders, the marching band, of course. They're always great to see them again. The parade is back since 2019. The West Scranton High Marching Band wearing their blue and white, excited to be in this year's parade. A constant participant, of course, they dazzle the crowds with their musical demonstrations. The director is Robert Lazoda, and the band today has 45 band and color guard members, and they have many awards, including the Reagan Memorial St. Patrick's Parade Award in 2016, and the first runner up for Froggy 101 Guitars and Stars Contest. They look great. Like they are fond of saying on the other side of the Lackawanna River, West Side is the best side. I've heard that before. <laughs> and of course, the city of Scranton has been a gracious host to the Santa Parade for the past 26 years. Scranton will again be kicking off the holiday season by bringing a festive feeling to downtown. Some other uh, famous baseball players here, the uh, Lackawanna County Challenger Little League, an organization 100% volunteer based. It was created to provide opportunities to any child with a disability, a place to participate in baseball, soccer, and organization events to include games and related activities. Challenger Little League of Lackawanna County. And they're bringing a fabulous float. They, they really three. are. Complete with presents. Lots of smiling faces there. More of the sights and sounds here in downtown Scranton. We're on Courthouse Square. This is Division One. Still plenty of parade to go. If you're thinking about heading downtown, there's a lot more to come here. And of course, at the uh, at the end of the parade, that's the highlight. That is the man of the hour, Santa Claus himself. 
Ricky will be down here. He will uh, round out the parade, and then he's going to hang around for a while and uh, take all the uh, the wish lists from all the little kids. I brought my list. Did you bring yours? Uh, you know, he kind of has mine on his Rolodex already. Are I'm you sure. naughty? <laughs> <laughs> well, you contemplate that. Let's yes. talk about the double R twirlettes. Uh, they are enjoying their 74th year of baton twirling, and I believe we're going to check in with Chelsea, who may be down there close to the twirlettes. Yep, that's right, Lisa. I'm here with the Twirlettes. This is my mother and her friend Betty Cooper's favorite. You gotta highlight the Twirlettes going down the street for the parade. Look at them go. Wow, they're all, they're almost all the way down Adams Avenue now. Very nice to have these ladies back. Ooh, maybe I interrupt them? I don't want to interrupt them, right? What do you guys think of the twirlettes? Love them. You love, love them? them. They're awesome. Is it your favorite part? Yes. Love when that's <laughs> twirlettes. We love the twirlettes, but we're waiting for Santa, right? All right. The child is just like, where's Santa? I got to ask him for my toys this year. But here they go. All right, we'll toss it back to you guys. All right, Chelsea, good stuff. You know, little known fact, uh, our Stacey Lang once marched in this parade and twirled. I don't know if she was. Was she a twirlette? I don't know if she was specifically a twirlette, but she, right. she certainly marched in this parade and she twirled. And uh, as I, you know, as I understand, it's something that's still talked about to this day. Stacey, if you're listening, send us some pictures. We need some more details. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> about the twirlettes, though. They have been guest performers. Did you know this on Royal Caribbean and Carnival Cruise Lines. They've also been featured performers at the Royal Naval Dockyard and Bermuda in the New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade, the Little League World Series. I mean, just a list of places they've been out and about, and they look fantastic. Now, each year they conduct the benefit twirlathon for St. Joseph's Center and a recital for charity. Through the years, this group has donated more than $150,000 to local charities, and they've been awarded the Pennsylvania State Senate Citation for their many years of generous contributions <laughs> and what a that, that's what we said and what an amazing uh, turnout for the twirlettes I mean what a great organization they have a fabulous a number of uh, different uh, groups of twirlers here almost filling the entire block of, uh, of Adams Avenue where we are and they are uh, there we go. Oh, I love it. There's there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's <laughs> yeah, more. Indeed. Call now. You'll get these twirlets, too. <laughs> they make it look easy, but, you know, it's really not. Yeah, I... Lots I of can, training. I can only take your word for it. <laughs> but uh, you'll be seeing the, these young marchers in uh, parades to come, I'm sure. You know, come out here. It's your first one. Everybody starts somewhere. Oh, we love the twirlettes. They're such a big part of the parade every year. And we have to recognize Kathleen Marcatilli, who is the group director. And again, this is made up of students from across Lackawanna County with locations for classes. Scott, if you're interested in Scranton, Blakely, Troop, and Daleville. Close to everybody. <laughs> Chelsea Strube on the parade route. That's right. I'm here with Kelly from Peckville, yes. and she has a child who's a twirlette. I do. Yes, my daughter's been twirling with double R twirlettes now for three years. This is her fourth year, and we're so happy we're back here in downtown Scranton for the Santa Parade. Is she coming up here? She is coming oh, up. Oh, okay. She's in white. She's in white, yep. How's she, she look? White. She loves the Santa Parade. We missed it so much, and so did they, and we're just so excited to be here. All right. Now, how proud are you? Oh, we love the Santa Parade, and we're so proud of our girls. My niece is in here as well, so. And my son and my two nephews were carrying the banner. Here she is. There she goes. Woo! Excellent. Scott, you said it. They are filling the whole block of Adams Avenue and more. This might be my favorite. I mean, we're, we're <laughs> very early in the parade, but these guys are taking the top the top of my list so far. All right, yeah. there's, there's an early uh, clubhouse leader in uh, in Chelsea Awards. <laughs> it's yep. the Twirlettes. Yep, they're up top with Stacy. All right. Oh yeah, we're still waiting to hear back from Stacy about her twirling. They do look fantastic. They do. Hi. Hi how are you? We talked about Kathleen. She's the group director, and she has everybody marching uh, just wonderfully. 
Here's the Junior League of Scranton, an organization of women committed to promoting volunteerism, developing the potential of women, and improving communities through the effective action and leadership of trained volunteers. Its purpose is exclusively educational and charitable. The Junior League is a wonderful organization that reaches out to women of all races, religions, and national origins who demonstrate an interest in and a commitment to volunteerism. Out of 294 leagues across four countries, the Junior League of Scranton was established in 1940 and has been serving our community for the last 82 years, helping women, children, and the greater Lackawanna County. And when you talk about volunteers, Junior Leaguers are definitely volunteers. We're so pleased to have them as part of Division One here, the 28th Annual Santa Parade in downtown Scranton, kicking off the holiday season. And there is a youngster who's about ready for the holiday season to begin. No I mean, if you're going to go to the parade, that's how you want to be in style, riding, yeah, right? He's exactly. all bundled up and he's got someone carrying him around. All right, this is Griffin Pond <laughs> Animal Shelter, a nonprofit organization. They are a no-kill shelter serving Lackawanna County that relies on fundraising events and the generosity of caring individuals in the community to financially support their efforts. Their mission is to help investigate, prosecute, and prevent cruelty to animals while also promoting adoption awareness, humane education, plus responsible pet ownership. Many, many things for Griffin Pond Animal Shelter. Chelsea. Yep, I'm here with Sherry from Griffin Pond. Hello. Now you guys are always in this parade. Correct, we are. What is it like to be back? It's great. Yeah, it's great to have two dogs that we can showcase and, you know, just uh, do the holiday, you know, spirit along the way here. What's the most important thing people should think about this, the holiday season as far as shelter and animals and pets? Um, I think the most important thing, if you can give, donate to the shelter, it would be awesome. We have a lot, we're at double capacity with animals. We have animals living in offices. Um, yeah, so if you could donate, you know, sponsor adoption, sponsor kennel, sponsor a shelter stay, that would be awesome this holiday season. And they're loving it. They yeah. love the kids. They we love have, the people. They just, they love the kids. They love the people. They just need a home. They do, yeah. So it's the Selma and Louise. Uh, oh, perfect. Yeah, uh, nine months old, and they're available for adoption. Are they sisters? They are. Oh, okay. How often does that happen where you have Not puppies often. that... Now, will they have to be adopted together? Uh, no, they can go separate. Okay, Selma and Louise. Yep. But it might be nice if you keep yeah, them if together. They keep, if they could be together, that would be awesome. But if not, you know, that'll be okay, too. They're really confident puppies. Excellent. Yeah, we can see how confident they are and how yeah. friendly they are they're with all the people over there. people. Excellent. Thank you so much, Thank Sherry. All right. Griffin Pond Animal Shelter makes their way down Adams Avenue, and I'm going to send it back to you guys. Excellent. Right. Thank you very much, Chelsea. That's the view on Adams Avenue you see right there. Here's the dance team from Marywood University. It's actually uh, considered a sports club at Marywood. The university dance team performs at various sporting and campus events. The team is coached by Rachel Baldini. The Marywood University dance team adds exciting and upbeat entertainment to men's and women's basketball games, as well as other campus and community events. Marywood University located in, uh, uh, mostly in the city of Scranton, also part of the campus is in Dunmore. It's right there on the municipal boundary but it's a beautiful campus and we've done a number of stories there uh, certainly and uh, the holiday season the tree lighting in the rotunda is always a, a, a fabulous event and always uh, very much looked forward to this is the dance team from Marywood this is a sample of what you, you would see if you went to a Pacers basketball game Great job, the members of the Marywood University dance team, part of Division One. And I think you see a familiar face coming up behind them. That can only be Champ, and these can only be the Rail Riders. That's right, the Scranton and Wilkesbury Rail Riders, along with Champ. They had a tremendous 2022 season filled with great memories and fun at PNC Field. Opening day 2023, mark your calendars. That's March 31st. They will be at home against Buffalo. The season tickets of all types are on 
to sell now might make a great Christmas gift. Yep. Uh, visit swbrailriders.com for more information on the exciting plans for 2023. Oh, the railroads had such a fabulous year in 2022. They, did. they started off, they came out of the gate on fire, then they went into this deep slump for about a month, and you're thinking, oh my goodness, this team is terrible. And then they just went roaring down the stretch and actually were, were right there for first place in the last week of the season and uh, just came up a little short that uh, that slump in the middle of the season uh, they really was, turned it around oh my goodness it was so exciting they were just winning and winning and clobbering the other teams so uh, there's hopefully more of that to come in 2023 out of PNC Field, the Montage Mountain. That's right. March 31st is going to be that opener against Buffalo. March 31st. And coming up behind the Royal Riders, the Lackawanna College cheer and football team coming to wish everyone happy holidays. And Quick is the head coach of the Lackawanna College cheerleaders. The cheerleaders uphold the pride and the tradition of the college through the unification of the student body, alumni, and community by providing a positive atmosphere and community service. Lackawanna College cheerleaders strive to instill tradition, honor, commitment, and pride in their teams, each other, and in the community. Lackawanna College football program is really one of the elite uh, junior college football programs in the country. Uh, and uh, a number of players have uh, certainly gone on to Division I schools from Lackawanna College and even to the NFL. So it's uh, certainly not a small program, nothing to be trifled with. Lackawanna College, a real powerhouse. Let's talk about the Salvation Army. That's our next uh, group here in Division I, an international movement, an evangelical part of the Universal Christian Church. Its message is based on the Bible. Its ministry is motivated by the love of God, and its mission is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to meet human needs in his name without discrimination. The Salvation Army Scranton Citadel Corp has been serving the Scranton community since 1885. Let's go down to Chelsea. That's right. I climbed my first float today, Scott. One of many. And I'm here with Pat with the Salvation Army. Pat, how are you guys doing today? We're doing great. A lot of happy smiles. The weather's a little cold, but uh, music like this warms it up. Right, and you got the sun shining. Do you guys still need ringers this year? Absolutely. We always need ringers. If you're interested, you can call the Salvation Army down at South 500 South Washington Avenue. We'd appreciate it. And how important are the bell ringers for the holiday season, not only for the tradition, but for the community? Oh, wow. It gets us through the whole year, and it helps us uh, feed people through our food pantry, as well as our, our heating services, as well as providing heating assistance to people. Excellent. Good to know. Thank you so much, Pat. All right, I'm going to send it back to you guys while I climb down. <laughs> Be good, careful, Chelsea. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> not just in Scranton, but bell ringers need for Salvation Army organizations throughout Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. Something to keep in mind uh, for the holiday season, uh, a little way to give back something to the community. The Salvation Army would love to see you, I am sure. They certainly do a great job serving many in the community in their time of need. And they have a fantastic float, uh, entire uh, flatbed here with a band playing music. There's, you noticed when Chelsea was doing an interview, there is a, uh, a kettle and uh, perhaps a bell ringer on the float itself as they make their way south on Adams Avenue. And that's a look at the, the street right here. And uh, next up, the Blacktop Warrior Jeep Club joining the Santa Parade again, the Blacktop Warriors. Today, 16 vehicles participating to spread holiday joy. Blacktop Warriors Jeep Club is Northeastern Pennsylvania's most followed Jeep Club, a family-oriented club that helps with good causes and charities. These good-hearted warriors have a strong passion for their Jeeps and their off-road life. And they do have some fantastic vehicles here and decked out uh, for the season as well. <laughs> I'm not sure what the two animals are, but they look great on the one Jeep there. Fantastic. Blacktop Warriors Jeep Club. We love creativity in the Santa <laughs> Parade. All right, Chelsea, I understand you were close by. The well, there you are. Yep, here we are. But give it to your Jeep Wave. Jeep Wave. Hey, I'm with Matt from Shavertown. Are you guys always in this parade? Uh, this is our first year. Your first year? What made you want to be a part of it? Uh, you know, we love to get out with the fellow Jeep uh, owners and, uh, you know, just have a good time and uh, celebrate the holidays with everyone. All right, you guys, we're going to drive. We're going to do a little walk and talk and drive. All right. 
and I'm gonna watch my toes. There you go. Yeah, now, what was the camaraderie like when you guys were all getting together and, and comparing all of your Jeeps? You know what, everybody has a, a, a different theme. Everybody has a, a good idea of what they like to see and what they think is important and whatever matches best or what, what they're going with and change it up every time. Will you keep these antlers on throughout the whole season or will you keep the lights on too? Well, keep it on just for the parades, you know, just to, to keep everybody else safe so they don't go flying off at any point if we're going down the highway, you know? Good point, good point. All right, well, I'll let you guys go. I'll get out of traffic and I'll send it back to you guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, Chelsea, don't get in traffic. <laughs> I was wondering if he was going to say that they were going to keep the antlers on the Jeep throughout the holiday season. I would have found that <laughs> hard to believe, but uh, you know, hey, you never know. I you mean, just it, never know. Christmas affects people in different ways. <laughs> Look at that, though. That's amazing with the things that they've done with the Blacktop Warriors Jeep Club vehicles. It's that Santa on an airplane. Interesting. There you go. Happy holiday season to you folks. And Olaf. Again, 16 of the Jeeps participating in the parade this year. Well represented. You can kind of see the end of the parade route from the wide shot as it uh, is moving uh, east on Linden Street, and then it makes the right-hand turn onto Adams Avenue, comes past our broadcast location, and wraps up right at the at the corner just past where we are sitting. And looks like a healthy crowd this year, would you say? I mean, even with the cold temperatures, lots I, of people coming out this I, year. I think that folks will really miss this parade and really happy to have it back. I know everyone at uh, WNEP is certainly, uh, well, we were certainly so happy to hear that it was coming back this year and we could be a part of it again we've missed it we've missed you hope you've missed as much i can tell you i'm certainly delighted to be here and oh my goodness we're looking at again the uh, black top warrior jeep club making its way through and just fantastic i mean perhaps they had an internal contest with the decorations because they really i mean it looks wonderful all out candy canes snowflakes christmas trees holly I tell you what, if you weren't in the holiday spirit or holiday mode, certainly you are after watching this. Mm -hmm. And we're just getting started. We have lots more to come here. The 28th year for the Santa Parade in downtown Scranton. All right, we have one more group left in Division One. The Five Star Dance Academy is going to come up behind the Blacktop Warriors. Blacktop Warriors are much like the Twirlettes before them, have <laughs> taken up the entire uh, the, the entire, entire city block, block. It seems yes. But There's we, the Dance yes, Academy. Yes, here we go. Bit of a log jam in the back there, but uh, things are starting to move here. The Dance Academy is going to these members are going to make their way down Adams Avenue as well here. They are literally in the <laughs> e exhaust of the Blacktop Warriors. Yes, indeed. So great to see the smiles on the kids' faces, don't you think? Indeed. Well, they're waiting for the, of course, the feature of the parade. That's Santa. He's coming up at the end, and uh, that is the highlight. But yes, look at you indeed. mentioned the crowd though. That's a great uh, wide shot of uh, Adams Avenue. You can see folks uh, standing two, three, four, even five deep at the at the heart uh, in the middle of the block here. That's right. We should also mention to people that after the parade, Santa and Mrs. Claus will remain downtown in their very own Santa tent that is going to be set up on Biden Street near the corner of Washington and Biden. And children can visit with Santa, give him their lists, and have a photograph taken. Now, parents, be sure to bring your camera as well. There's not going to be a professional photographer there and there is no charge for the admission into the Santa tent or for the photograph. So make sure that you bring, I know everyone has that cell phone, so make sure you get ready to take the pictures. There's the Five Star Dance Academy. At long last, the Five Star Dance Academy, a premier dance studio based in West Granton, directed by Jessica Barletta. This group offers dance classes for children ages 2 through 18, ballet, tap, hip-hop, musical theater, and jazz as well as a competition team. So we're going to see the best of the best of the Five Star Dance Academy here is wrapping up Division One of the Santa Parade. Well, the same musical theater, this could be part of that. Yes, indeed. Certainly dancing is one way to keep warm in these temperatures.
need a little happy ever after the five star right. dance academy coming to us from west granton over here to central city And if you need a little Christmas, just like <laughs> those young ladies, well, you've come to the right place, because this is just the end of Division One of the Santa Parade here in downtown Scranton. There's so much more to come here this morning. And now we're gonna check back in with Chelsea, who is down close to it. Chelsea, are you dancing with Five Star Dance Academy? You know, I thought about it. <laughs> And then I was just, you know what, I'm going to let them. I'm going to let them go. But I'm here with Gail from Moscow, and you said the way to stay warm might be to dance. And I'm dancing here on the sideline, but Gail has a gumdrop hat on. I do. This is, I have balls. <laughs> what, do you, what is the inspiration behind this hat? I just really like it. It's just, you know, really warm, and it's kind of heavy. But, you know, my son used to wear it snowboarding, and he gave up on it, so I continue to wear it all these years later. Well, I think it's festive and great, and I'm glad that it lives on today at the Santa Parade. What is your favorite part so far? Um, I really like the dancers, the little kids, and I love animals. So, of course, the Griffin Pond animals walking down the street today in this freezing cold weather was a nice thing to see. Gail, it sounds like you're in the right place. All of your favorite things in one place here at the Santa Parade. Well, we're going to... We've got all the grandchildren, too. That's important. All right, well, we're going to be back with Division Two. We're going to throw it to break, and we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Idle Hours Entertainment is your destination for family fun, rain, or shine. Come check out our new digs in Dixon City and Scranton at the former Southside Bowl. Book our VIP boutique lanes for private parties and meetings. Go under the sea for a glow-in-the-dark mini golf adventure. Grab a team and battle it out in our huge laser tag arena. Get your game on in our brand new arcades and up your game with family favorite Cosmic Bowl. Whether you're north or south, there's so much to discover at the brand new Idle Hours Entertainment. Fun happens here. Powell's has what the contractor, truck owner, and do-it-yourselfer in your life really wants for Christmas. How about a new grill for their truck, diamond plate toolbox, or a headache rack? Powell's has chainsaws, snow blowers, high-powered leaf blowers. Want to make some money this year? Check out this ultimate sidewalk snow plow on tracks. Keep your workplace warm with a quality propane heater from LB White on sale for $3.99. Powell's is offering a free pair of leather work gloves with every gift certificate purchased. Powell's Sales and Service. This is Birchwood Estates, 22 acres of upscale living space nestled in a beautiful, quiet setting in Old Forge. Here you can choose a one or two bedroom apartment, each with an open floor plan, hardwood floors, granite tops, and private covered patio. Birchwood Estates is a George A. Dunbar Jr. community for luxury apartment living. It's maintenance free, affordable, and pet friendly. George A. Dunbar Jr. communities would like to wish you and your families a very happy holiday season. Find the best Christmas gifts at Allen's Amish Shop in Lake Ariel. Save big on our huge selection of quality Amish chairs for both kids and adults. Check out our collection of cozy home decor to get your home in the holiday spirit. Every day, all day, get 10% off for veterans and seniors. Save on poly lighthouses, windmills, wishing wells, chicken coops, and picnic tables. Allen's Amish has the best sheds in the area. Everything is made right here in the USA. Save big at Allen's Amish Shop in Lake Ariel. Good morning, everybody. I'm Julie Eisman, President and General Manager of WNEP-TV. I'm so excited to be part of the grand return of the Santa Parade to downtown Scranton. WNEP is proudly committed to the communities we serve, and we are so happy to be part of this Northeastern Pennsylvania holiday tradition. We are honored to be by your side, and we appreciate you welcoming us into your homes. On behalf of the entire team at WNEP, I want to wish you and yours the very best this holiday season. Now, back to the pageantry of the Santa Parade. GM Julie Eisenman, her first Santa Parade as well. Welcome back. This is Division 2 of the Scrant, uh, Scranton Santa Parade. 
There you see the night rhythms from Scranton High School. They're entertaining the crowd here on Courthouse Square for us. And they got here very early this morning. I pulled up and I thought, my goodness, did they start without me? They were singing already, warming up, and they sound fantastic. All right, Division Two. we begin with uh, the folks from Geisinger. One of the parade sponsors, as you can see by the banner. And of course, there's also Wally the therapy dog. I'm looking for him. Well, Wally is part of this group. He's a rescue from Laura's Hope, who an AKC therapy dog at the Gino Burley Veterans Center at Wilk, uh, Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport and uh, on board at Lehigh Valley Hospital. Wally has his own Facebook page, Wally the Therapy Dog, so you can look that up. More than 1,300 followers. My, uh, there's Wally, I do believe. There we go. Oh, All right. my goodness. Precious. Hi, Wally. Geisinger is here with us as well. The Geisinger Community Medical Center, CMC, is Lackawanna County's most complete health care facility offering services that are not available anywhere else locally. Geisinger CMC has the only level two trauma center in Lackawanna County, the only electronic intensive care unit in Lackawanna County. The ICU team can communicate directly with the ICU team at Geisinger in Danville to diagnose and treat patients. And what a big turnout for uh, for Geisinger today. Here's Riverside. That's right. This is the Riverside Vikings, of course, the marching band there. The children as well. They perform at all football games on both home and away games at the pep rallies, the Armed Forces Day Parade, the Taylor Memorial Day Parade, one local band, Cavalcade, and other events as they arise each year. Again, this is the Riverside Band. Riverside High School located in the borough of Taylor, and I know this band will be part of a, a Santa Parade or a holiday Day parade uh, next weekend uh, in that community. So it's a bit of a warm up for them here. Love to have them uh, coming on into the city of Scranton to join the festivities. And nice group here for the Riverside High School. Nice turnout for the Vikings. Side High School, part of Division Two here of the Scranton Santa Parade, making their way down Adams Avenue right now. And behind them, we have Cub Scout Pack 16 out of Hickory Street Presbyterian Church here in Scranton. The Pack and Scout uh, Boy Scout Troops 16 and 1016 have been active in South Scranton for more than 75 years. 75 years as a pack and more than 100 years as a troop. That's the finest South Scranton has to offer. <laughs> Chelsea Struve on the street for us today. Here, we're here with Stu from Troop 16. I didn't, we didn't plan this. It is well. And Troop 16, yes, ma'am. Now, we didn't plan that. No, not at all. We just happen to have 16. Do you really? <laughs> oh, yes, right, new 16. What's your favorite part about the parade and coming out here with everybody? Oh, just being able to see everybody and have a good time on the holiday spirit. Now, you aren't dressed as warmly as I am, but how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You're doing good. I'm warm enough, yes, ma'am. Warm enough, all right. I'll send it back to you guys. All right, Chelsea, thanks so much. And no, that wasn't planned, but of course we do like the uh, Cub Scouts and Pack 16. We like that number, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, let's talk about the Polar Express conductor and trolley. Walking with the trolley is a very special guest who has traveled all the way from the North Pole for today's parade. We're talking about 
the conductor from the Polar Express, and he is collecting toys for all the good boys and girls through Toys for Tots. Chelsea, we'll toss it back to you. Now, you had a long trip to get here today. Oh, my God, Santa. Santa sent me down here to make sure every kid here still believes, and I've seen the enthusiasm. I think we're all on the same line here. We all believe in Santa, right, kids? Yeah. We're all on the same page, yes. and we can't wait to see him. You've even got Santa on what your shirt. What a day it's been here. I can't believe all these people came out for this for the Santa parade. I can't wait to see him. All right. Well, we'll see him soon. Okay. Thanks. We'll see you guys later. Oh, we got some ducks coming up. We'll throw it back to you guys. I'll come back. After the uh, after the trolley, uh, we have ducks. Uh, I'll have to take her word for it. Yes, I see the ducks coming our way. And they are with Colbert and Graybus. Certified elder law attorneys and co-founders of the law firm that is located in Music, Pennsylvania, since 2002. Uh, Kevin Grievous has devoted his practice to the areas of elder law and estate planning. And they've earned the prestigious dis designation of certified elder law attorney. And of course, Brenda Colbert has been practicing elder law, estate planning, and special needs planning in our local community since 2002 as well, and earned the prestigious designation of certified elder law attorney in 2009. Now, in 2022, both Brenda and Kevin earned their elite status and have been selected as super lawyers this past year. They are active in the communities, serving on many boards and organizations, and they provide free Three educational seminars monthly speaking on their areas of practice and planning for elder law, estate administration and planning, as well as special needs trusts and planning. And what a creative float that they brought with them they here today indeed. to uh, downtown Scranton with the ducks and, of course, uh, the holiday spirit, the Santa Claus uh, balloon on the back. Wonderful to have them to be part of Division Two. Colbert and Grebus. We see the dancers coming up next, and that's a familiar sight. The Arabesque Academy of Dance. It's located on Blue Shutters Road in Roaring Brook Township. This year marks the 16th year. There's that the number again. 16 again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 16th year that Arabesque has participated in the Santa Parade. Next year we won't even mention them. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Arabesque Academy of Dancing, a multiple time winner of the Santa Parade's Grand Marshals Award. Members of the studio performed in parades at Walt Disney World and Epcot. The school, which runs under the artistic direction of Amy Belcher, offers classes in ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, and lyrical. More information about classes and schedules for students can be found online at academyofdancing.com. Students are accepted year round. The Arabesque Dance Academy in Roaring Brook Township. Chelsea Strube on Adams Avenue. I'm here with Gilly from Scranton. You've lived here your whole life, you said. Yes, ma'am. How many have you come to the Scranton oh, Parade? I've been to the parade on and off through the years, but with it being down for like the last two years, my son's three, I want to start a new tradition. So, but yeah, no, it's great. It's great to see everybody out. Um, my daughter Maggie danced today, and you know, we're here. We might leave a little early. It is cold. I took the morning off, so you know, I want to go enjoy it with my wife. And Levi seems to be having a really good time. What do you think of 
No, he's got a lollipop in his mouth, so I won't ask him any questions. He's a little busy. But you're happy it's back, and you're happy to make a new tradition. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for being down here and doing it and putting it on, you know. Yeah, I'm grateful. Sure. Thank you so much, Gilly. All right, I'll send it back to you guys until I find someone else. Thank you, guys. Who wants to go on TV? Chelsea, thank you so much for that. Texas Roadhouse is our next uh, participant here in Division Two. The legendary Texas Roadhouse. Roadies serve smiles to the community every day and on this parade day. The Roadhouse Roadies. Well, even the Roadhouse Roadies can get in the Christmas spirit for the Santa Parade. Yes, indeed. Again, this is Division Two. You're watching uh, the Scranton Santa Parade here live on WNEP, streaming live on WNEP.com and all of our platforms. Part of Division Two is, of course, Fiddlesticks the Mouse. Of course, what else would be part of Division Two? <laughs> the giant mouse with the heart of a peppermint. Fiddlesticks the Mouse. I love it. <laughs> Oh, there's the heart of a peppermint. Oh, yeah, I see this. <laughs> this adorable fellow is the chief mouse in charge of stocking sweets. He's responsible for making sure you get delicious candy in your stockings on Christmas morning. His favorite things are delicious peppermints. It's, so, it's hard for him not to just eat them all up by himself. But he must <laughs> make sure there are enough for all the good boys and girls to enjoy for the holiday. Santa put fiddlesticks in charge because he knew so much about candy. He's a connoisseur of confections. I'm going to borrow that line. <laughs> fiddlesticks. Great to be part of the parade. It says, "'Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Wait a second, this mouse was most definitely stirring. He is so busy on Christmas, he forgets to nap or even have a snack." From Fiddlesticks to Lady Liberty, Liberty Tax is back again to join the holiday fun of the Santa Parade, locally owned and nationally supported. In addition to income tax prep, the offices remain open year-round, providing assistance with small business bookkeeping, payroll, tax debt settlement, credit repair, Medicare enrollment, and all that good stuff. Even buying your own home. Let's talk to Chelsea. I'm here with Adrenaline Softball and Trinity, and they're cheering, but they're also cheering Trinity on to be on TV today. Tell me what it's like to be out here, Trinity. I'm um, good. Are you staying warm? No. No, you're not? Well, this cheer sounds good. Are you excited for the year to come up? Yeah. All right, I'm going to let you guys keep going. You can hear them, right? Captivating interview. Thank you, Chelsea. The Northeastern PA Adrenaline is a soccer organization from the Trip Park section of Scranton. A local travel softball organization. Eight teams made up of young ladies ranging in age from 9 through 18. It's the first time NEPA Adrenaline has joined the Santa Parade in Scranton. Welcome. Great to have them here with us this morning. Love is an open door. Wonderful song there. And following the Nipa Adrenaline is the American Red Cross. Always excited to be celebrating the season in the Santa Parade. The American Red Cross is working hard in this community and others to assist those who have been victims of disasters. The American Red Cross of Nipa supports their Nipa communities through disaster relief assistance, sound the alarm, service to the armed forces, and community outreach, of course. They have a big crowd here. And they're followed by the Scranton Civic Ballet Company, founded in 1978 by Miss Helen Goss. The Scranton Civic Ballet Company, a nonprofit focused on dance, education, and performance. It is the company's mission to educate its members and the public in the art of dance while bringing the talents of well known artists, choreographers, and master teachers into northeastern Pennsylvania for students as well as audiences. And this is uh, from Frozen, this song? Oh, Love is an Open Door from Frozen. Uh, I know this very well, yes, but I, I won't sing it for you yes, today. Yes, I'm a few years <laughs> removed from the... Uh, 
from the uh, kids' movies, but uh, that one I do vaguely remember. Oh, yeah, that was a hit for yes. sure. <laughs> We should tell everyone that you are invited to attend the ballet company's 35th annual presentation of the Nutcracker that is under the artistic director of Goss. That will be on December 10th and 11th. There are going to be 60 students and adults ranging in age from 8 to 50. We'll share the timeless tale of Clara, Jostlemeyer, and the Nutcracker that unfolds as the delicate Sugar Plum Fairy and Ola Tchaikovsky's musical spirits weave their enchanting spell. All right, we are... Are. Here's the group from Penn State Scranton in Dunmore. It, it's been part of the region for more than a half century, offering students an internationally recognized degree at a campus that is close to home and affordable. We love the group from Penn State Scranton. You see the Nittany Lion oh, yeah. came in here with, uh, with the football team on the road this week. I guess the Nittany Lion had a chance to come join us here in Scranton. There he is. <laughs> Penn, Penn State Pride. Penn State plays Rutgers today. I know our Newswatch 16 team is there. Ron Snyder in Piscataway, New Jersey. <laughs> Better him than me. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are coming to you live from downtown Scranton, and that's the place to be. Happy holidays from Penn State Scranton. They're part of Division Two of the Santa Parade this year. <laughs> <laughs> Penn State Scranton. Is that a minion I see? Minions. That's a popular, uh, popular song. Oh, yes. We've heard a couple of times on the route uh, this morning. Santa dear, we are in a hurry. <laughs> Again, this is Division Two. The Penn State group is making its way past us. Here's the Akapiti Dance Company, participated in the Santa Parade since 2008. It's located in Moscow. It's under the direction of sisters Michelle Bizdick and Ashley Kaminsky. Michelle, I apologize for butchering the <laughs> pronunciation of your last name. The studio offers classes in ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, and lyrical for students age two to adult. They've been dancing down the streets of Scranton for this parade for 15 years, and they continue to love this holiday tradition. Akapini will also be performing at the upcoming Times Tower Lighting next week at the Times Building in downtown Scranton. We will be there live and the theater at North in December for the for the dance company, not for us. Occupy Dance would like to wish everyone a very happy holiday. All right, feeling hungry? What about Roots, Chris, and TGI Fridays? TGI Fridays offers great food and amazing drinks at their locations in both Dixon City and Wilkes-Barre. TGI Fridays, of course, locally owned and operated from burgers to ribs and craft beer to signature drinks. You don't have to wait till Friday to enjoy because it's always Friday here. But well, now I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. We're kind of rounding out towards the end of Division 2 here with the Roots Chris and TGI Fridays groups. Chelsea Strube is with us on the street. Yeah, I'm here with Erin, who travels here as a holiday tradition every year. And how far do you travel? From Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. All the way from Bloomsburg? Yep. And who are you here with today? Uh, my grandson, Anthony, his, my daughter, Amy, and her husband, and her other little boy, and my great nephew, and my nephew. So this is a family affair, and you guys drove all the way here? Yep, every year. We every year. What do you love about this parade? Everything. The floats, the people, you know. And it was our mom's tradition, and we love certain Sure. Well, we're keeping the spirit alive, Aaron. Excellent. It was so nice of you to come here all the way from Bloomsburg. We're going to keep that spirit going back to you guys. We are indeed, and I'm sure her mother is smiling down on her. So important to keep those traditions. We appreciate her coming with the family from Bloomsburg. Look at that fancy wow, car, Scott. Wyoming Valley Racing aye, Car aye. Club. And 
Portanova Body Shop is conducting a Toys for Tots event December 3rd from 5 to 8 at the Marketplace at Steamtown in the parking garage. So that, again, that date is December 3rd from 5 to 8. And you can see, oh, there's a Toys for Tots vehicle here. That's, uh, I loaned them my car. I was going to say, I yeah. want to go for a test drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not uh, good at this one. I, I presume it's a DeLorean with the wing, uh, the doors that open that way. Um, but uh, it's probably something even fancier than that. So I my apologies. I was thinking like Ferrari, but I'm not sure. We'll, yes. we'll see. We'll report back. Yeah. Chelsea, yeah. can you see? Are you down there? Tell us about this fancy car. This orange car? Yes, please. I believe this is a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. Oh, is it a Lambo? Yes, of course. It is an orange Lambo with the doors that go up, and inside we have a teddy bear. And it's got a lot of decals on it. It's a very expensive car to put stickers all over it, but it's for <laughs> toys for tots. So it's for a good cause. Well, that is one lucky teddy bear. That's all I can say. So one lucky teddy bear. All the car enthusiasts back home were screaming at their sets. It's a Lamborghini. Right. We adult. should know this. Yes, I'm we should. I'm thinking Ferrari no. or Lamborghini. The fact that, that we went into this business guarantees <laughs> that we will never know. <laughs> hey, keep hope alive. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful vehicle. It We're is indeed. So great to have the Wyoming Valley Racing Car Club coming up here to Scranton uh, for today's Santa Parade. And remember, uh, the toy drive is coming up on the 3rd at the Marketplace at Steamtown. Here's the group from Odyssey Communications, uh, and that is the radio group that's located uh, near Pittston. Uh, KRZ and Froggy and... Um, W-I-L-K, all part of this. We saw Rocky earlier today. He That's was right. uh, one of the uh, one of the Grand Marshals. But here are some of the other uh, folks you might recognize. I see Nancy Kamen. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> and uh, the group there, Lissa from the morning show. Hello. How are you? Doc's here. So great turnout from the radio stations. Again, good to have them coming up uh, from the Wyoming Valley to join us here in Scranton today. That's right. Odyssey. Uh, it's one of the largest radio broadcasting companies in the United States. And right now we're gonna take a look at some of our parade sponsors. So if you take a look at your screen, you can see some of the parade sponsors. Of course, Munley Law is the title sponsor of this year's Santa Parade. Okay, and before we take a break, we want to recognize a very special person. Today's Santa Parade is dedicated to the memory of Lou Williamson. Lou passed away in 2020. He was involved in the parade since its inception and had participated in every parade from 1993 through 2019. Lou was an integral part of the parade. It truly could not have happened without him. Lou brought happiness and Christmas joy to so many children, and of course, he will be greatly missed. This is dedicated to Lou Williamson. Everyone's life has defining moments when the choices you make change the course of everything. Maybe you found yourself involved in a painful divorce. Maybe you're closing on your dream house, but want the reassurance you're taking the right steps in the process. Maybe you found yourself on the wrong side of the law and need to put your faith in an experienced law firm when that moment comes. Make the right choice. Brian J. Kelly and Associates, with over 40 years of legal excellence. Call 570-344-2029 or visit brianjkelly.com. The Hess truck's back and it's better than ever Racing car bars this year The Hess truck's here A flatbed truck with lights, sounds, and two racing hot rods Get it now at HessToyTruck.com With free shipping and batteries Experience the warmth of the holiday season at 487 Rustics and the Christmas Shop. Unique gifts, custom handcrafted furniture, antiques, beautiful Kurt Adler decor and trees, and stocking stuffers. 487 Rustics, one mile north of Bloomsburg on Route 487. 
I want a lean, hard, sexy body. Where do I start? The Fitness Headquarters. I want muscular arms and jacked abs. Go to the Fitness Headquarters. I just want to lose some weight. Ask the fitness gurus at the Fitness Headquarters. Plus, build your home gym and get huge savings like these. Buy where the gyms buy. From the experts at the Fitness Headquarters. Come and ask the Fitness Headquarters how to reach your goals. Weight loss, muscle building, recovery. Now's the time to work out at home. Visit the Fitness Headquarters. Kick off the holiday season with one of NEPA's most beloved traditions. Ballet Theater of Scranton's Gift of the Nutcracker will be presented during Thanksgiving weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 2 and 7.30 p.m. at the Theater at North. It's our gift to you, free of charge. Free tickets are available two hours prior to the specific performance at the box office. Celebrate the season with Ballet Theater of Scranton's The Nutcracker. Munley Law is thrilled to sponsor the 28th Annual Santa Parade, the first since 2019. We know how important the parade is to our families and community here in Northeastern Pennsylvania, especially the young children who eagerly await the arrival of Santa Claus. Christmas is the time of year when everyone should help spread Christmas joy. And so on behalf of the attorneys and staff at Munley Law, we'd all like to say, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to the Santa Parade in downtown Scranton. We are so glad that you have joined us this morning as we now kick up Division 3 of this year's parade. And we're starting that with none other than Lehigh Valley Hospital. Lehigh Valley Hospital, a relatively uh, new uh, uh, group here in Lackawanna County in general as a new uh, facility in Dixon City, the newest hospital in our area, right on Main Street in the borough. This hospital opened its doors in May of this year. The network is proud to be part of the community. And there you see all the folks from Lehigh Valley Hospital who turned out today. Nice crowd. Of course, Lehigh Valley Hospital is well known throughout northeastern and central Pennsylvania. Based uh, just outside of Allentown. Uh, Hence the Lehigh Valley name, but uh, with facilities all the way through Schuylkill County and uh, the Poconos, now into Lackawanna County as well. Scott, do you have a dime? Uh, we do now. <laughs> we have the Dime Bank. Of course, the Dime Bank believes in creating amazing customer experiences as a community bank based in northeastern Pennsylvania with branches in Lackawanna, Wayne, and Pike Counties. And there's a branch right here in Scranton at 300 Lackawanna Avenue. Dime Bank works hard to offer customers the very best in community banking. The Dime Bank's focus is on customer needs and the community, and they know each person and each business is unique. At the Dime Bank, they will take the time to understand your needs and create a a financial plan specific for you or your business since 1905. They've been making a difference in the lives of those who choose the Dime Bank as their total financial partner. Dime Bank certainly the highlight of Division 3 because after them comes a quite the sorted <laughs> cast of characters that they stuck here in the middle of They're the gonna parade get you. hoping that no one would notice. This who is, are those folks? This, there's some unusual <laughs> characters from some unusual television I station. I don't recognize I any of those faces. Vaguely, vaguely heard of. John Meyer. There's Chelsea with our guest. There's Elizabeth. Hi, Chelsea. Hey, I'm here with Stacy, but she didn't Hi. bring her baton. Ah, uh, sorry. I slacked this year. I'm, I'm letting the twirling stars do all the work. Right. But you still know the routine. Oh, it's up here. It's up here. It's living up here forever. Excellent. Yeah. And Stacy's here with the family. Elizabeth keeping this parade together by holding up the sign with Jack Colkin. Mm -hmm. How's it going, Elizabeth? How well, you doing? The kids were doing it earlier, but they, they decided they'd rather hand out candy. So the adults had to take over. And yes, we are holding this entire parade together by doing this. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for that effort. Jack, this is your first time with us, but probably not your first Santa parade. No, it is not my first Santa parade, but I got to say, I'm loving this today. The crowd here has been amazing, and everybody has been so awesome out here today. I love it. Awesome. And we've got John Meyer and Rennie Workman and Mindy. We've got our whole A-team morning team. How are you? Doing great, Mindy. How are you? We're good. You know what? Honestly, it doesn't feel cold at all. Am I right, you guys? It's beautiful out here, and the crowd warms you up. 
the crowd warms us up. Yep. And we've got some other we've got some other uh, people here who were a little bit camera shy, right? But who do we have here? Oh my goodness! Everybody's favorite weather dog. Ranger and Kurt. How's it going, Kurt? Good, but uh, I'm getting tired. He's had a lot of selfies with people today, Chelsea, seriously. <laughs> it's really hard being in the spotlight with Ranger. Yeah, and you know, the common phrase is, can we get a picture? Sure. Kurt, can you step out of the way? <laughs> the dog is stealing the show. Exactly. Well, that's exactly. what happens. That's exactly. what happens, right? And, you know, we joke. He is the only employee at WNEP that has his own baseball cards. Right. Yeah. So. Are you passing those out? Oh. Okay. You never know when you might. You need never one know. Of those. You never know. There you well, go. glad that you came prepared. There you go. Ranger, how's it hey, going, buddy? Hey, good, Chelsea. How are He's you? He's doing good with his little sweater. All right. Well, we're passing out candy. We got it here, and I think we're gonna let the parade keep on going. But don't forget about the live trucks. They had the easy job today. <laughs> <laughs> The WNEP crew, part of Division Three of the Scranton Santa Parade. I mean, that's Mindy's daughter. Yeah, we we used to go trick or treating with them when my son was small. Really? Grown up, her daughter is my goodness gracious. Beautiful. There's the crowd at Division Three. Watching as the WNEP team comes through, Range of the Dog is, Range of course, is quite the, the celebrity, star huh? of the show, probably the second <laughs> second most popular character of this whole parade today. <laughs> yes, indeed. And there's Jackie, of course. Driving the truck. Wow. Home and backyard. Hi, hi gang. They're just walking past us now, so we get to say hi to our colleagues. Yes. Uh, Come on, okay, Mindy. Come here's, on a, in, here's Mindy. a funny story. Guess what? All right. This is the first time that Mindy and I are meeting. Yes, in person. In person. Live. The first time, live. It is so great to meet you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. You were fantastic. Huh. You were wonderful. It's so great to see you and meet you. We're going to have to get together. Oh, let's that do was, lunch that's all of us. a big moment. Yeah. All right, you All guys, right. enjoy, not, enjoy. Not a dry eye in the house I after know. that. I know, wonderful, I'm so happy that happened. And that really, if you will, may, may not understand uh, the differences of, of the shifts that we work, yes. but Mindy is gone from work three hours before we get there, and we're gone from work three hours before Mindy comes in, so we do Opposite not Opposite sides that. of the clock, I, yes, I we do not. I saw John on election night, and I'll see him again on the next election night. <laughs> yes, uh, indeed. Yes, so that's our group from WNEP. And of course, coming up behind those guys, the Valley View Cheer. The Valley View Cougars cheerleaders help to make the holiday bright. Their school is located in Archibald. Off the field, the 22-member squad participates in various community events throughout the year. They are often found displaying their school spirit and pumping up both the crowd and team every Friday night. Their mission is to represent the Valley View School District as positive role models and, of course, to give back to the communities that support their school and their sport. And another successful football season for the Cougars went going all the way to the district title game. Uh, we want to congratulate them on a great year and I'm sure the cheerleaders are a big part of that. And so great to have them as part of the Scranton Santa Parade. Knobles is in the house. The amusement resort in Ealysburg wishes everyone a Merry Christmas. We'd also like to thank all the visitors for a great season. The team at Knobles is already preparing for 2023. Opening day will be here before you know it. It means so much for folks of all ages to get to Knobles. Chelsea. Scott, I'm here with Colette from Knobles in this beautiful flow. Colette, how are you doing today? Doing well. How are you? Good. What is it like to be back? It's great. It's great. We've missed it quite a bit. We are enjoying it. We're glad to be back. We're glad to have our families back. Sure. And what should people know about the holiday season at Knobles? Oh, you have to come. You have to see the drive through experience. It is fantastic. At our Santa Village this year, you will definitely enjoy it. If you get the chance, make reservations. Come to the character breakfast. It's going to be awesome. Excellent. I'm sure our Nikki Cries will be telling us more about that as the season goes on. But thank you guys for being here. Great day. Sure, you too. Get warm. All right, we're going to throw to break, and we'll be back in a little bit.
tried dieting on our own, but we needed guidance and help, so uh, we decided to try and strive. It worked very well for us. We're the brunettes, and we've lost 68 pounds together. With the help of Instrive. <laughs> Call now to schedule your free consultation. Idle Hours Entertainment is your destination for family fun, rain, or shine. Come check out our new digs in Dixon City and Scranton at the former Southside Bowl. Book our VIP boutique lanes for private parties and meetings. Go under the sea for a glow-in-the-dark mini-golf adventure. Grab a team and battle it out in our huge laser tag arena. Get your game on in our brand new arcades and up your game with family favorite Cosmic Bowl. Whether you're north or south, there's so much to discover at the brand new Idle Hours Entertainment. Fun happens here. Every day wins. Make your day that much better. And now, you have a chance at free everyday wins when you play FanDuel Casino's Reward Machine, the new daily free-to-play game that offers you the chance to win up to $2,000 in casino bonus. So take a chance on more everyday wins with Reward Machine, only on FanDuel Casino. days into happy nights. Our battery 8K homeowner system starts at just $199.99. Real Steel. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. I'm Bonnie, and with the help of Instrive, I've lost 50 pounds. I have more energy. I went back to work again full-time. You're never too old to start this program. If you want results like Bonnie, call Instrive to schedule your free consultation. Scranton Santa Parade. We are thrilled to have the Santa Parade back in Scranton this year. We'll be kicking off the holidays today and we have so many great events planned throughout the holiday season here in Scranton. A big thanks to the Santa Parade Committee for organizing this every year. We are so lucky to have such dedicated volunteers in our city and to everybody who's walking or riding in the parade or producing the parade. Thank you WNEP. We're so excited to kick off the holidays with you. So have a happy, safe holiday season on the behalf of the city of Scranton. However you celebrate, please enjoy with your family and friends. It's going to be a great couple months here. And again, enjoy the show. Her Honor, the mayor of Scranton, Paige Cognetti. I'm thinking this is her first Santa parade. I'll have to consult my notes on that okay. pretty close might be her first first time I can remember her welcoming us and great to have uh, the mayor as part of the festivities and she did mention that is going to be a, a wonderful uh, holiday season in Scranton the lights at Nayog Park are officially turned on and folks were going through there last night for the first time that's always such a wonderful drive-through event uh, at uh, Nayog Park it's great you can see it from Interstate 81 so that's what we have one of the great events we have to look forward to here in the, this part of northeastern central Pennsylvania for the holiday season. And this is the Scranton Cultural Center at the Masonic Temple. Of course, it is great to see them. Proud to feature its youth theater program, which offers year-round performance opportunities for children in pre-K through 12th grade. Coming up next for the SCC Youth Theater Program are Disney's The Jungle Book Kids and the SpongeBob Musical. There you see Jungle Book. That's right, and the dates. Looks like early December. Scranton Cultural Center at the Masonic Temple. It's just such a beautiful facility in Scranton, a historic building right in the heart of the downtown. If you haven't been able to get there for a show, I recommend that you do. It's a wonderful experience, and the productions that are put on there are always top notch. Part of the crowd here in downtown Scranton for the Santa Parade, the 28th annual. All bundled up. And next is Holiday in Scranton East. You see them there. And look, the green nutcracker. The first wood carvings can be dated to the 11th century. There's the Holiday Inn group. Holiday Inn and the nutcracker are coming here together. 
part of Division Three. The Holiday Inn's located up at uh, 84, 380, 81 in Dunmore. It's right off the uh, interstate there. Uh, easy to see from the interstate itself. The Green Nutcracker, really a throwback to some of the early Nutcrackers. They were evolved into elaborately carved wood and even crafted brass. Many villagers worked in mineral-rich mines and the miners began to make wood carvings out of nutcrackers year-round. Here's Wayne Bank, and we are sitting right in front of the Wayne Bank branch in downtown Scranton. Celebrated 151 years of community banking in 2022, and they have 29 community offices throughout Pennsylvania and New York, of course, here in Central Scranton and in Clark's Summit. Happy to have the Wayne Bank uh, group uh, joining us here this morning. And uh, again, we are, you can see our location there on the right side of your screen. The Wayne Bank is uh, just uh, to the right of that, right here on Adams Avenue. Cumulus Media, the radio group from Luzerne County. That's right, Magic 93 is NEPA's Christmas music station playing the best holiday hits 24 seven through Christmas. Today they are spreading their best Christmas cheer through downtown Scranton. Hey, there is a, <laughs> a dinosaur. And here's a look at the uh, board of directors for this year's Santa Parade. Talk about the Carbondale Area Chargers Marching Band. Excited to spread holiday cheer with a great performance. The, in the Santa Parade, the Carbondale Area Marching Band and Drill Team. The band is a 2022 recipient of the Donald J. Regan Memorial Award for Scholastic Music. Directed by Megan McDermott, the band today is 21 band and drill team members. Welcome to downtown Scranton, the group from Carbondale. Oh, the flute. Were you ever in the marching band? I was not. I was a flautist for a few years. Well, I continue to be impressed by you. <laughs> the Chargers. Proud tradition from the Up Valley of Lackawanna County. Here's the Northeastern PA Pageant Scholarship Group. The pa scholarship competition is a not-for-profit organization that provides young women with the opportunity to begin their journey through the Miss America organization as a local title holder and a state and national candidate. Spreading holiday cheer, the 2023 Northeastern PA Scholarship Competition title holders. Look at the queens there. That is Miss Wilkes-Barre Scranton 2023, Shakira Unique Uaxon of Philadelphia. She's the daughter of Ebony Jackson. That's actually Shakira Unique Jackson. And she attends the University of Pittsburgh, an amazing vocalist and her social impact. There's also Miss Luzerne County 2023 and Madeline Whitcraft of Lancaster the daughter of Joanna and Jeremy Whitcraft, and she attends Dickinson College. Of course, these uh, young ladies could go on to become uh, Miss Pennsylvania. And, they could. Uh, perhaps Miss uh, America, although we've had this conversation before that it's been a long time since uh, Miss Pennsylvania was crowned Miss America. Beautiful and smart and intelligent. <laughs> The Dave Regnacci School of Dance, that's bringing up the end of Division Three. It's located in Scranton at Carbondale. This group has been in business for the past 34 years, receiving a Scranton Times Reader's Choice Award the last several years for being Northeastern PA's best dance school. Dave Regnacci School of Dance only accepts students from uh, age three years old to adults, softening ballet, tap, jazz, 
point and hip hop, dancing with a theatrical flair. Nice. And another popular song that we've heard in the parade, this song from Frozen. Love is an open door. Look at the big group from uh, the Dave Ragnacci School of Dance. So many opportunities for uh, youngsters in our area to get involved with uh, dance, uh, whether it be uh, competitive dance or just for fun. But we've seen so many different examples just in this parade this morning. That's right. We've seen at least three or four groups. Talented youngsters. We look forward to seeing them for years to come here as part of the Santa Parade in downtown Scranton. This is the, the end of Division Three, so we are moving right along. Getting We're closer. Just a few minutes away from the arrival of the featured guest, the man of the hour. That would be Santa Claus himself. We have heard anecdotal references that he is in Scranton and he is in the parade and he should be here momentarily. Right now we have the dancers from the Dave Ragnacci School performing on Adams Avenue for us. Definitely a large group, and as we were telling you, after this parade, when it end, when the parade ends, the fun is not over because Santa and Mrs. Claus are gonna be in their very own Santa tent. We're going to take a quick break here. We'll be back with uh, Division 4 as the Santa Parade is moving right along in downtown Scranton. Stay with us. The big arrival is soon to be coming our way. the warmth of the holiday season at 487 Rustics and the Christmas Shop. Unique gifts, custom handcrafted furniture, antiques, beautiful Kurt Adler decor and trees, and stocking stuffers. 487 Rustics, one mile north of Bloomsburg on Route 487. This is Birchwood Estates, 22 acres of upscale living space nestled in a beautiful, quiet setting in Old Forge. Here you can choose a one or two bedroom apartment, each with an open floor plan, hardwood floors, granite tops, and private covered patio. Birchwood Estates is a George A. Dunbar Jr. community for luxury apartment living. It's maintenance free, affordable, and pet friendly. George A. Dunbar Jr. communities would like to wish you and your families a very happy holiday season. Kick off the holidays with Home and Backyard with sweet treats and gifts that are cozy and comfy. From decorating the tree to catering your special party, join us for Home and Backyard's holiday celebration, Thanksgiving night at 7 on WNEP. To build the all-new Honda CRV Hybrid, we took everything you love about the CRV and kicked it up a notch with excellent fuel efficiency and greater power. For a CRV unlike any before, adventure confidently with the most fuel efficient full line automaker in America, the all new CRV and CRV Hybrid, part of the Honda line of rugged vehicles. Visit your local Honda dealer where new vehicles are arriving daily. Buy online or reserve from select Honda dealers. The Lackawanna Heritage Valley Santa Train is coming to your town. Up and down the Lackawanna Valley, the Santa Train will be making stops in Carbondale, Archbold, Jessup, Oliphant, Dixon City, and in Scranton at Steamtown National Historic Site. And the United States Marine Corps members will be at each stop collecting for their Toys for Tots program. There'll be music, snacks, and fun for kids of all ages. Join us for the Lackawanna Heritage Valley Santa Train. this puppy. Oh, okay. All right, I'm here with Patrick. Welcome back, everybody. We're just about to finish the song here. Yeah. What were they singing just now? They were singing Run Run Rudolph. And what's next? The what are you going to bring us next? I'm going to tell them they're going to sing like it's Christmas. All right, here we go. How many 
song are, do you guys have in your repertoire for today? So they're doing five as a group, and then they have three solos that they perform. So it's about 30 minutes of music today. Okay, and they're dancing, they're moving and grooving, they're staying warm. Yes, they practiced this for about two months. This is their second set of music for the year. Then they'll do another set, and then they'll do their competition set. So that one's more dancing than this. Really? More dancing? All right, well, we look forward to seeing what else you guys have. I'll toss it back to Scott and Lisa. You make Welcome back to Division Four of the Scranton Santa Parade. The Marketplace at Steamtown uh, just marched by us, one of the sponsors, and facility here in the heart of Scranton. Now the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, your gateway to Northeast Pennsylvania and the Pocono Mountains from pretty much anywhere around the world. Right. That's right. AVP committed to rising above and making this commitment to the community, their employees, and to their customers to elevate the airport experience. Team AVP is investing time and attention to make AVP soar in the eyes of all they serve. As they say, you can get there from here. And there you see the airport group uh, marching by. Here's the Knights of Columbus. The Pennsylvania Central District welcoming new leadership this year with newly appointed Master Brian Halleck in the gold and Marshall Martin Soa in the green. The color core of the fourth degree is growing more each year. You can become a fourth degree knight as well by checking the website at 4kofc.org, the Knights of Columbus. And this is the University of Scranton Neuroscience Society making their return to the Santa Parade. The Neuroscience Society is an organization from the University of Scranton that focuses on connecting students to each other with neuroscience meetings and events both on and off campus. Neuroscience Society. That's beyond my understanding. <laughs> my tip, tip my hat, uh, those uh, very intelligent uh, young people. Yes, indeed. Here's the Marywood University cheerleaders. I guess we saw the dance team earlier. Well, That's right. Now we have the cheerleaders from Marywood, a co-ed cheer team at all home games. This group participates in community service events, high school cheer clinics, pep rallies for all sports teams, along with team leadership and bonding skills. Part of the cheerleaders at Marywood, and they are part of Division Four of the Santa Parade in downtown Scranton this morning. Getting ready for the basketball season in Marywood. It's probably uh, just getting underway. You know, they're very proud of their Pacers. Well, who doesn't love a great dinosaur? This is Buddy <laughs> the Dinosaur, one of our favorite PBS Kids characters. It's the funny, friendly Buddy the Dinosaur train. He is wishing all of us a happy holiday. He's curious, funny, and an intelligent T-Rex, the star of the show. Of course, Buddy is always cautious, but always ready to jump into action and to start asking questions. While on the dinosaur train, he makes a hypothesis and begins searching for the answers to his questions with the help of his mom, the conductor, and the new dinosaurs that he meets on the train. I've certainly seen that a time or two yeah. or ten. Time <laughs> Shamrock is our next group in Division 4, uh, not only the newspaper group, but the radio stations as well, based right here in downtown Scranton, getting ready for the big lighting of the uh, Times Tower, the world's tallest, the world's tallest, the region's tallest Christmas tree, which will be lit officially this Wednesday night. You'll see it live on Newswatch 16 at 6. That's right. We will be there. 
Northeast military vehicles are privately owned. The members of this group plan, organize, and conduct numerous regional events. The motivation is the same. Come together as a community, share your enthusiasm with others, and keep these historic vehicles in motion. These are all privately owned vehicles, and that's just fact. Imagine uh, pulling up in front of your kid's school in one of those babies. <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of cool. I mean, you just expect to see General Omar Bradley walking out of the, the back. <laughs> well, not well, not the Navy, but uh, walking out of the back of one of those things. Yes, it's a military police vehicle there. Interesting. I got to say, they look really good. Here's Fortis Institute offering dental hygiene, expanded functions, dental assisting, massage therapy, medical assistant, phlebotomy, nursing, CDL billing, and coding programs. Fortis Institute has all kinds of educational opportunities for just about everyone. Something to keep in mind very successful uh, group here in northeastern Pennsylvania and welcome them to Division 4 this morning. We mentioned the CDL uh, opportunities at Fortis and uh, it might be one of the graduates driving the, the big rig this morning and transporting all the rest of the group through the streets of Scranton for the Santa Parade. Faces. Here's the NET Credit Federal Credit Union, your not-for-profit local and trusted financial institution. At NET Credit Union, you don't have customers. These folks have members. And when you bank with NET, your money stays right here locally. So much more to get when you bank at NET. Large group with NET. Oh, Lewis look at morning. the oh, baby! Uh, <laughs> Can't you imagine sleeping through the parade? <laughs> I wow. love it. I'm not sure the child knows <laughs> what is to come. You have to wake up for the big moment. Maybe you're resting until that moment. Yeah, it's Saving more, up all the energy, you, you know? You, you need to be uh, at your best when you, yes, when you, you meet the big man, perhaps for the first time. And again, we mentioned that Santa and Mrs. Claus are going to be in their tent, that Santa tent once the parade ends, of course, and that's going to be near the corner of Washington and Biden, and children can visit with Santa, give him their list, and have a photograph taken. Moms and dads, don't forget to bring your cell phone or your camera to take a picture. No choice charge there for the Santa tent. Again, we're looking at the... Uh, Net Federal Credit Union Group here as part of Division 4 of this year's Santa Parade. More twirlers. These are Sherry's Royalettes twirling their way down the parade route. Sherry's Royalettes participate in local parades, including this one and the St. Patrick's Parade in Scranton. They are the Pennsylvania State Twirl Team Champions with the National Baton Twirling Association. Quite impressive. The group has been an organization for more than 40 years, traveled to many different states to perform and compete. There's national titles among these group members, and many have performed with their respective high school band fronts along with others who twirl at the collegiate level. So we want to uh, welcome Sherry's Royalettes. <laughs> Quite talented. I know the parents must be so proud because you know these kids have been practicing all of these routines for weeks, if not months, and this is their time to shine, and they are all doing a great job. Steamtown National Historic Site is our next uh, group here in Division Four. It's uh, the na it's part of the National Park Service, of course. The National Historic Site's at right in downtown Scranton. It's a throwback to uh, the days of. Uh, Scranton's early days as a hub of trains and locomotive industry. The Trolley Museum located on the same grounds. I did not know until recently that it was part of the National Park Service unit here. That's neat. Steamtown National Historic Site. It's really a wonderful place to take the kids, learn about the history of the region. Take a quick break here. We are coming towards the end of uh, Division 4. Santa is just a few minutes away, so don't you go away here on WNEP.
mess with the contractor, truck owner, and do-it-yourselfer in your life really wants for Christmas. How about a new grill for their truck, diamond plate toolbox, or a headache rack? Hulls has chainsaws, snow blowers, high-powered leaf blowers. Want to make some money this year? Check out this ultimate sidewalk snow plow on tracks. Keep your workplace warm with a quality propane heater from LB White. On sale for $3.99. Hulls is offering a free pair of leather work gloves with every gift certificate purchased. Hulls Sales and Service. Come back to the ultimate rock Christmas tradition. Trans-Siberian Orchestra, live in concert. Presented by Hallmark Channel. Millions have made this their must-see holiday event of the season. Two shows, Sunday, November 27th, Mohegan Sun Arena at Casey Plaza. Reserve seats on sale now at Ticketmaster.com and the box office. Trans-Siberian Orchestras, the Ghosts of Christmas Eve, the Best of TSO, and more. Everyone's life has defining moments when the choices you make change the course of everything. Maybe you found yourself involved in a painful divorce. Maybe you're closing on your dream house, but want the reassurance you're taking the right steps in the process. Maybe you found yourself on the wrong side of the law and need to put your faith in an experienced law firm when that moment comes. Make the right choice. Brian J. Kelly and Associates, with over 40 years of legal excellence. Call 570-344-2029 or visit brianjkelly.com. Honda, we know you have to drive through the mud. If you want to reach the rainbow, brave the desert before you find the oasis. The all-new CRV and CRV Hybrid, part of the Honda line of rugged vehicles. Visit your local Honda dealer where new vehicles are arriving daily. Buy online or reserve from select Honda dealers. Welcome. Welcome back to Downtown Scranton Division 5, and that means Santa oh is boy. almost here. You see the Division 5 coming down uh, Adams Avenue right now. It starts with Bigfoot County Legends, Country Legends, pardon me. That's NEPA's classic country. Honored to be a part of the Wilkes-Barre Scranton family. And of course, you can find them at 101.7, 107.7, and even on the AM dial, Mighty 590 Warm. The Mighty 590, Bigfoot Country Legends. An impressive float that they bring to the parade this morning. From everything from Dolly to Faith, Merle to Garth, Bigfoot Country Legends plays the best country and knows what's going on in your part of Bigfoot Country. Here's the Meredith Hose Company uh, in the Carbondale area. Know them well. They sponsor the Super Sot Contest uh, every summer, and I'm honored to be a judge uh, year after year with the Meredith Hose Company. It's 100% volunteer, Meredith Hose Company. How about the Scranton Fire Department? Always a favorite of the children along the parade route. Established in 1901, SFD is comprised of 150 firefighters working for the 76,000 citizens of the city of Scranton and bringing some impressive vehicles to yes, the parade indeed. this morning. Every kid loves a fire truck. Who doesn't? And they uh, certainly have a lot. S seven engines, two trucks, one rescue, and assistant chief's car. And the kids uh, get to ride in the vehicles. How cool is that? That must be fabulous. That's very cool. Love our firefighters. Yes, yes. We have some good ones here in Scranton. Fire, police, public servants. DPW is wonderful. We have one more break to take, uh, and then the uh, highlight of the parade is still to come. So you want to stay with us here on WNEP. This is Birchwood Estates, 22 acres of upscale living space nestled in a beautiful, quiet setting in Old Forge. Here you can choose a one or two bedroom apartment, each with an open floor plan, hardwood floors, granite tops, and private covered patio. Birchwood Estates is a George A. Dunbar Jr. community for luxury apartment living. It's maintenance free, affordable, and pet friendly. George A. Dunbar Jr. communities would like to wish you and your families a very happy holiday season. Flatbed 
truck with lights, sounds, and two racing hot rods. Get it now at HessToyTruck.com with free shipping and batteries. Whether you're a man or a woman, in most cases, breast cancer is treatable. Early detection is key because we know the sooner we find it, the sooner we treat it, the more contained it is, the better your chances are survival. Find the best Christmas gifts at Allen's Amish Shop in Lake Ariel. Save big on our huge selection of quality Amish chairs for both kids and adults. Check out our collection of cozy home decor to get your home in the holiday spirit. Every day, all day, get 10% off for veterans and seniors. Save on poly lighthouses, windmills, wishing wells, chicken coops, and picnic tables. Allen's Amish has the best sheds in the area. Everything is made right here in the USA. Save big at Allen's Amish Shop in Lake Ariel. Merry Christmas. What right have you to be merry? You will be haunted by three spirits. <laughs> I am as merry as a schoolboy. <laughs> I am as giddy as a drunken man. A Merry Christmas to everybody. A Happy New Year to all the world. Who's ready for Santa Claus? Division five of the Scranton Santa Parade. The big man is just about here. But first, the band from Scranton High School, the Knights Marching Band. Great to have the Scranton High School Marching Band back with us again this year, part of uh, Division 5, and we're getting down to the end of the parade here. And that is the highlight, all the, the, the moment all the kids have been waiting for. Santa himself will be coming down the avenue here to greet all of the little ones, and he'll be making his way to the Scranton tent, which is about a block from where we sit. And that's where he's going to be taking requests from the kids all day long. There's ice carvings going on at Courthouse Square today, too. All kinds of activities and holiday fun going on in downtown Scranton. You can head over to the marketplace at Steamtown. More there. And, of course, the lights at Nayog Park uh, at 5 o'clock uh, this evening uh, until 10. And that will be going on uh, all holiday season long. And, of course, when you see Santa, don't forget your lift because he will be taking them to get ready for the big day. Again, this is the Scranton High School Band. Always participates in the Santa Parade. Parade committee and these folks, of course, it's so much, uh, so much hard work to get this event back uh, here for us this year, and grateful for their efforts. This is Motivations Fitness making another appearance in the parade as a sponsor. <laughs> Located in Dunmore, Motivations Fitness Center is your place to get in shape. You know, this is the time of year when we begin to enjoy those delightful, delicious, maybe cali he calorie heavy meals. Got to stay in shape. Yeah. At least try. Yeah, you don't want to <laughs> don't want to let it get out of hand because you'll make that New Year's resolution and you'll be like, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh look at this, the pony. The Brook Valley Farms carriage. Oh, that's going to bring uh, uh, Santa himself. At this, and here he is, along with Chelsea Strew. That's the man we've been waiting for. Wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Chelsea, what do you have? Well, I'm here with Santa. It's got me to the time has come. We're here with boys and girls who are at the top of the night's list. Yes. Right, Santa? Yes, top of the night's list. Top nice of the night's list. Nice list approved. approved. Yes, yes. But we can't say the, some, the same for some of us at Newswatch 16. Not 16, yeah. We're still up in the air with Snedeker. I'm, I'm on the fence with that one. But he's un misunderstood. Misunderstood. But I think he might hit the nice list. He might be on the yeah, nice might list. Be on the nice list. Well, what's capturing your imagination here? Uh, just amazing. Scranton, amazing. The Scr Santa Parade. Thank you all. Uh, every sponsors. Everything is uh, great. Glad to be back. Very, very nice. Now, people say that this is a little bit early for a Santa parade, but you're going to be very busy. Very busy. Too busy. December is the busiest ever, so we try to come when we can. Come before Thanksgiving, before the rush. Yes, before the rush, yes. So is there fun. anything you want little boys and girls to know out there today? Be very good, very nice, enjoy, 
and love one another. Love one another, be nice. Yes. And you guys are all nice here, right? On this whole parade? Yes. What's your name? Jake. Jake, how are you doing? Good. Good. You're doing good. How was Jake, Santa? Did very he make good. a nice? And all the kids were very good. Very good today. Helped me out tremendously today. Excellent. Well, I'm glad you had these helpers with you today, and very I very wish good. you a safe trip back to the North Pole. Thank you. I'm going to send it back to you, Scott and Lisa. Bye -bye. All right, Chelsea. Great job today. Great job to the Scranton Night Rhythms. Great job to those names you see on the screen: Billy Schultz and Corey, Martina, Hollingshead. We love all you ladies and gentlemen who helped put this on. What do you think of your first parade? You know, I have to say, my feet are only now beginning to get cold. I've enjoyed myself. This has been a lot of fun. I've thoroughly enjoyed every moment of it. And we've thoroughly enjoyed having all of you with us on this chilly morning in downtown Scranton, the return of the Scranton Santa Parade. And as we mentioned, all the festivities that will be going on here throughout the day in downtown Scranton, throughout the season in downtown Scranton. There's Santa Claus. He's making his way to uh, his tent for the rest of the day. It's going to be a busy afternoon for him, and if he even gets there, because he's getting mobbed right here at the very end of the parade. So glad you could be with us on this Saturday morning here in downtown Scranton. Merry Christmas from all of us to all of you.